All right, this is our last example problem for um, chapter 18. This is on slide 93. Basically, this is a calculation dealing with the minimum amount of an ion needed to selectively precipitate something. So the problem reads, the magnesium and calcium ions present in seawater, magnesium concentration 0.059 molar, and calcium concentration is 0.01 molar, can be separated by selective precipitation with potassium hydroxide. What is the minimum concentration of hydroxide that triggers the precipitation of the magnesium 2 plus ion? So the setup and theory behind this problem is that precipitation occurs when the value of Q for whatever compound you're precipitating is just equal to the value of Ksp. Um, so we're going to solve this basically by setting up the expression for Q for specifically magnesium hydroxide and setting that value equal to Ksp and then basically back calculating to solve for the concentration of OH um, or hydroxide needed to equal the Ksp. And that's the concentration above which magnesium hydroxide will precipitate out of solution. So before I write my Ksp or Q expression, I need to um, write the equation for magnesium hydroxide dissolving, precipitating in solution. So magnesium hydroxide is a solid and it's going to have equilibrium expression, magnesium 2 plus plus 2 OH minus. So therefore, my expression for this, technically my Q, is going to be Mg2 plus and OH minus squared. So in the problem, it gives me a magnesium concentration. What we're looking for is the hydroxide concentration we need to equal our Ksp, which I have written up here, which is not given in the problem, but you would ac have access to a table or in another problem, it would be stated. So my Q is equal to 0 0.059 times my hydroxide concentration, which is what we're trying to solve for. We don't know that. Um, so when Q is equal to Ksp, um, precipitation occurs above this concentration. So I'm going to set Ksp, which is equal to 2.06 times 10 to the negative 13. I'm going to set that equal to my expression. And I'm going to have 0 0.059, my hydroxide concentration squared. So I'm going to divide both sides by the 0 0.059 and get that hydroxide by itself. And then I'm also going to square root both sides. And when I do that, I get that my hydroxide concentration is equal to 1.9 times 10 to the negative 6 molar. So that is the minimum amount of hydroxide concentration needed to precipitate out magnesium from this seawater sample. And that's it. Thanks for listening.